topic and joining us now in the pit studio is Kyle Busch. Texas Motor Speedway, it suits you. Why? Uh, I'm not sure exactly. It just uh, sort of seems to click. You know, I figured something out here in 2007 and kind of hit on it and have been doing it ever since. And we've been winning some races here. 2008, swept them both. 2009, um, and getting better on the cup side as well, too. We were very close to winning last fall. Uh, finished third here, I think, 2008. So, you know, we've had some good runs here lately. Buddy, congratulations for last week. That was a strong run. Dominate yeah, performance, you. no doubt about that. And going for five today, that's pretty strong right there. <laughs> yeah, it but, is. But, you know, definitely. but one thing that I've got to ask you, though, I mean, this track, we watched it yesterday in qualifying, very, very temperature sensitive. I mm -hmm. mean, you saw guys fly early, running fast, and really slow up later on. And now with a new tire they got out here, green track conditions, man, what, what do you think your car is going to do when you start this race? Well, I'm looking forward to it. You know, we practiced a little bit on Thursday with the overcast skies, and so everything we learned then, you know, we only ran about nine laps, but we learned a couple things then, and then when it came back on Friday, uh, we had some more practice, and then the sun popped out, and we saw the change in track temp and what it did to the cars. So uh, we've got a sense that the speed really picks up, like you mentioned, when the, when the clouds come out. So uh, we're looking forward to it. It should be a fast race. You know, there should be a lot of speed, hopefully uh, a lot of good handling race cars instead of sliding around with the sun. You know, Kyle, we have a lot of young guys in this series that are struggling. We've been talking about that. And I heard Jamie McMurray make a real interesting comment yesterday. He said, getting out of that cup car and getting back into this nationwide car, how difficult and how hard you have to drive this nationwide car. Mm -hmm. You have a tremendous amount of experience in both. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Is it a hard car to drive? Do you have to drive it harder? It is. I mean, you can really challenge the corners, and you can challenge yourself at driving the thing harder because the car has so much downforce. It has so much grip. The cars. Uh, have come such a long way in a short period of time here just the last three years we're doing things that we didn't even think about four years ago mm -hmm. um, but you know the he mentions that because also the horsepower level you know we have the tapered spacers over here so there's not a lot of power you can really charge the corners you can really step on the gas early and carry your momentum through the corners really hard so uh, the tendencies are so much different but with the spoiler actually now on on the cot over on the cup side it's brought in those that gap a little closer together oh really huh. so that's yeah. uh, that's been pretty interesting to, to note and to see but to me I, i've got calculations in my head that i know okay well if i can do my nationwide car like this i know how much I got to back up or what I can do with my cup car. And wow. so with having those calculations, I can pretty much give a yeah. basis on where I need to lift, where I need to pick up the throttle and all that stuff. I know how much the cars are different. Huh. And if we watched wow. last week, he was very dominant in the Nationwide Series, and you put on a show in the Cup Series as well. But let's talk about Phoenix in the Nationwide Series because you won your 32nd race, but you, you made it interesting on yourself. <laughs> we want to go back and we want to look at the restart. Sure. Can you walk us through what you were doing and what you were thinking on this particular restart? Sure. This is This is the first one. All right. Well, we're coming to the first line here, and Brad picks up the throttle. There's the first line and moves ahead of me. And so I was like, all right, fine, go ahead, you know. And then I waited until the second line, and I went at the second line, in which, you know, he was ahead of me that whole time. And so the second place car is not allowed to beat the first place car to the line. So I was looking to get him busted and should have got him busted. But if it wasn't for me uh, having, you know, the stack up behind us, it would have been all right. That would be the second restart when Brad yeah. was awarded the lead. This was just to kind of prove a point to see what NASCAR would do do and uh, got exactly what I expected which was the pass through and the penalty so, um, so you felt he did the same thing mm -hmm. in the first restart you know, he, you he went he started mo motioning ahead yeah. before the first line okay or at the first line right and I waited until the second line to go which is in that zone correct okay okay All right. and I went at the second line but because everybody else behind me was following off what Brad was doing it looked as if I brake checked I didn't touch oh. the brake pedal okay I did okay. not move my speed you guys normally have the tracker on the car when you're on a restart that has the speed pointing down with the arrows yeah. to the car yeah y'all never showed that yeah we, thanks we you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> the speed my speed never changed that entire time everybody was anticipating off the 22 car that's why it looked so bad uh -huh. and that's car rolled it and improper restart and we were talking with joe ballish yeah. earlier today and he said were, were you reminded of how to do a proper restart and he said well we've reminded him and he's been reminded by 42 other drivers in the garage. <laughs> what was the reaction after last weekend? Uh, I've talked to a couple other drivers. Harvick, even in the broadcast, mentioned that I did everything right. He said uh, during his in-car when Rusty, you asked him about what he thought of it, and he said uh, Brad anticipated where I've been going the whole race and went at that point, and I waited until the end of the zone to go. 
And so he mentioned right there that I was in the right. And I talked to Ricky Stenthouse earlier this week. He said, uh, or actually just in a driver's meeting, he said that uh, the exact same thing. I just waited until the end of the zone to go. He saw that. Brian Scott said the same thing. A couple other guys. So to me, all the drivers were on my side except one, and that was the one that didn't yeah. get busted for it. Yeah. Well, you heard him mention Kevin sense. Harvick. You can't see him at home, but I can. <laughs> Coming up next, we're going to talk to Kevin Harvick. But as we talked about earlier, it's the drive for five most consecutive wins at one track in the Nationwide Series. Daryl Earnhardt with five, Jack Ingram with five at South Boston. What would it mean to you to add your name to that list? Uh, it'd be pretty special. You know, it would definitely, uh, those are two of the greats of all time, of course. Ingram in the Nationwide Series, Dale Earnhardt of NASCAR in general. So uh, for me to be able to go out like that and win five in a row here would be awesome. I couldn't think of two better guys to be uh, in the group with besides another one of my good friends, which uh, is the late Sam Hart. Well, we uh, hope you get out there on the track today. <laughs> Best of luck to you. We do and thanks, too. Uh, yep. Thanks for we stopping it. by the pit studio. Hey, Rusty, one of my crew guys said that he'd love to hang a body for you. Never done one before in his life, but uh, he's looking forward to it. Oh, really? Who is it? Yeah, one of my crew guys. Is, my, my is he pretty man. good? He's, ne he's never fabricated in his life, but he'd love to do one for you. What we were really? all joking around from what you guys were saying in the, about my, my uh, yelling at my crew guys and stuff earlier. So <laughs> <laughs> I well, bet you've I'll, never done that before yourself. I'll talk to him. How's that? All right. <laughs> See, as long as I get a good deal out of him. Yeah, have at it. Okay, See, you got it, settling old scores as well. Come